can I do an intro without screwing it up? <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Leapville TCG. My name is Ayrton, we're looking at Shadowverse Evolve product. This new stuff came out today, got a pretty nice, uh, you know, the claw, oh, I wouldn't call it classic. It's like the um, sidewinding deck box that uh, Busher likes to make when they don't make one of these top loading ones. We got the sleeves, the Erica sleeves. Then we got some start decks here. And three packets of set one from uh, Battle Loco near my place. But yes, um, we're only opening one. Starter Decky Dai Nidan. Uh, what was the name? It was like uh, Onshu Tokyo or something like that. Like something to do with a sword and a demon. I'm not too sure my Japanese isn't too flash. <laughs> anyway, so we've got a couple of start decks here. We're only opening the Royal class start deck uh, because this is the one I will be playing. Um, they said, uh, oh, but pick, pick a deck. And I'm like, I like this one. And everyone's like, oh yeah, you should play uh, Royals. You should play Sword. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll play that deck. And I like the aesthetic. <laughs> Um, we have this, and these are the other start decks, so we have the Witch start deck, uh, another Sword start deck uh, for Mr. Squash Peas, Mr. Say So, um, we have the uh, Forest, no, Elf, Elf deck, Elf deck, that's the one, um, this is for Mr. Row of the Tanks, and we have someone else for, uh, something for someone else at our locals, but we are only looking at, uh, put those on the floor, uh, the start deck here, the royal one. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice product. All things... I wouldn't say all things considering, it's just a nice box. I did notice that a lot of them have like, some card shift down or there. My house lighting is not amazing for this. Um, yeah, but if you can see right there, like all the cards are just shifted down just a little bit. It was really funny seeing that in the actual store itself. Um, but... We'll show a look at the start deck um, at the time of me recording this, which is uh, what 9:53 p.m. on the day of release. Uh, I still don't know how to play this. Um, I decided on a whim today that I was going to play. Sh Ooh, what is this? That's like getting stuff from a magic deck that might trigger people oh uh a wheel that goes all the way to 30. oh you can like power through that really quickly so we have what i assume is a life wheel probably should have read up on all this stuff first our counter oh that's a lot of counters Oh, that's a lot of punch out counters. That's going to be. This is Rotanks. I'm going to explain right now what the things air tenders are going through. So, um, that wheel thingy, my bob, that is what you use to track your life in Shadowverse, which begins at 20. And those counters he has, those fancy dancy little things, those are to track the difference between your attack and life on your units, because those change a lot in Shadowverse. It's very. It's, Similar to what Hearthstone, you know, how they go up and down. You can compare it more to Pokemon with how the counters work, though. So yeah, that's all. I'll probably be back later to explain the cards. We really should have had someone explain this alongside Ayrton, but we didn't. Fun to carry around everywhere. Can put that in my uh, Battle Spirits box. And for my cause, there we have a playmat. You know the classic. Paper TCG playmat. Oh, 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 jeez. Max and. Hey yo, it's me again. So, um, this is the playmat that you use for Shadow vs. Evolved. Your leader is obviously your leader card. On the right, where it says the max PP, that is the play points that you have. That is your mana cost, you gain one each turn, blah blah blah. Your Evolve is. Your Evolve on the left side is going to be your extra deck. That's where you put all your Evolved cards. I believe that has a deck size cap of 10. And then that Banner Zone, that's, you know, the usual Banner Zone. It's like your Bind Zone if you play Vanguard. Your whatever the fuck zone if you play Body Fire, I don't know. Um, that EX area, that is the removed zone from Battle Spirits, essentially. It's like a second hand that is kind of public knowledge, I'm pretty sure. 
and that also has a limit of five just like the field and then you also have the deck i wonder what happens there and your graveyard so just enjoy it and trying to take all this mat into detail without knowing what the fuck is happening mp leader deck graveyard uh it's just uh it's just your playmat <laughs> Nice little play mat folding out there. Be nice to just have a quick glance at that so I know what I'm doing. And we have our instructions here. I will have to get one of the other boys who knows how this works to explain it to me. But our rules seems pretty relatively straightforward. Oof. Graveyard leader, decky, edible. Yep. Yep, I can read a little bit of that. <laughs> probably have a fight or two up with the boys on the channel sometime. Probably just using side decks because uh, I think the only one who's getting a split besides me is Rotanx. The other ones don't want to commit. Oh, that is really nice. That is real. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting impressed by the packaging more than anything else at the moment. All right. Let's look at the deck. So, it's separated into a couple pieces here. So, that's some thick cards. Oh, these are your token cards. Why are they th so thick? EP. Oh, and your leader card. So, this is the Erica leader card. Right, there it is. Like, this is like... Omega thick. Let me grab a... Uh, a Japanese Vanguard card for comparison. Uh, Mr. Rolock over here in its sleeve. Like, in comparison, that's the Rolock. This is the Shadowverse card. The Shadowverse leader card is like super thick. Like super thick. Oh, this. Gonna have to find a nice sleeve for this one. I think I got one in mind. Uh, but, oh, yep, this all our token cards are very thick. Why do they make the tokens so thick? So we have, uh, what's it, five night tokens right here, and stay, stay night to, stay night to, stale, stale night, stale night. Oh, I don't know. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm actually like I said, I don't actually know how this game works. So. Uh, I'll just be going through what the deck content the uh, deck contents is. So you have a uh, LG uh, so it's LG rarity, I believe it's called. Uh, yeah, it says right there. Uh, Subaki. So she's got the uh, gold text right there, uh, just like a Yu-Gi-Oh Ultra. Rare. Very nice right here, uh, Subaki. Uh, I assume play three is a playset. So you have three Subaki. <laughs> What's this guy's name? Uh, his name is Bangado. Day some, <laughs> bang card, bang card, lay them, lay some, lay them, lay them, lay some, lay them. Okay, the next card will be three floral fences right here. Uh, I believe, if I am reading this right, it is a evolve card, which I assume has to do with the bunch of these cards at the back of the deck that don't have cost. Hmm. Uh, next we have uh, three assassins right here. Um, yeah, Assassino. This is very, very uniform names. Just like, yes, this is an assassin. This is this. This is that. White General, uh, place it a White General. Ninja, Ninja, <laughs> Ninja Egg, Ninja Egg, <laughs> two Ninja Egg. <laughs> what are these names? These look great. Oh, Reiki, Reiki Sen no Ransa? Reiki Sen no Ransa. Uh, veteran Lancer or something like that? Hmm. We got three Fencer. Yep, just some. Uh, we have a Knight who is Oathless at a uh, playset as well. And has Evolve, I believe, as well. That's pretty nice. We have a Quicku Breeder. 
the quick blader. <laughs> Uh, we have, uh, I am not going to read that, I'm going to butcher that, never mind, um, Buso Kyoka, Buso Kyoka, no idea what that translates to. We have here, Mushu, Mushu, Shifu, Shibun, Shibu, I'm not going to pronounce that. I'm going to place that this card. And we got a goblin. <laughs> He's a goblin. <laughs> we have a, a fighter. <laughs> and. And Tenken no. Oh, Tenken no Otome. Oh, that's um, no. Ten Angel Ken Sword no Otome. Angelic or Angel Sword Maiden, I think. <laughs> we have what's her name? The floral floral girl. Floral f uh, the floral fencer evolved right here. We have Earthless Knight evolved. Oh. <laughs> uh, we have Quicku Breda. Evolved, and we have a goblin. <laughs> it is a go <laughs> it's a goblin. <laughs> Actually, these cards are quite nice. Like just seeing, um, like the art. This is very different from what uh, I'm used to, at least. All I do is play Bermuda, I guess. So, what? Uh, what's a real shocker to me? Um, packing these cards is probably going to give someone like anxiety. I apologize to anyone who will get anxiety from this. <laughs> so, um, if I'm not mistaken, these evolve cards have their own deck. At the side that you, it's like an extra deck, like you get extra deck. I was watching the video at work. Don't tell them. Don't tell them I was watching a video at work. And to end us off, this this to kick me over my tripod. Oh, we have three packs of the first set here. It's quite nice art. I'm hopefully, hopefully, I pull something that looks pretty cool, and is pretty cool, or maybe something that is for my deck. Uh, probably should have done, uh, it comes with a token card back here. That's a, that's a thick boy right there. That's a spell token. I have no, this looks like it's, oh, oh! Where's a, where's a royal card? Oh, that's, I didn't even know that. Where it has the, um, the, what, clan? Uh, class? The class. Class symbol up there, so that's, um, elf one. Two, three, four, a neutral card, and a dragon card, and an evolved card for ten. Probably Bishop. I think it was a class called Bishop. <laughs> when I went to uh, my locals to pick up this, it was um, a lot of Bishop decks left on the shelf. Uh, one, I think it was a, the Nightmare class deck. They had a handful of those left. Token card. It is a bird! <laughs> oh! Ooh! SL? SL? Ooh! This looks pretty! Yeah! Oh. oh, that looks nice! Give me a moment. I'm gonna look this up. What is this card? Okay, so I'm just gonna explain briefly what an SL is. I don't know too much myself, but all it really is is a really, really shiny version of a card, in this case, the LG rarity of whatever her name is, I forget, is instead a SL rarity now, where it's very much more shiny than it would normally be. I don't know, like, this is probably equal to a secret rare, if you play Yu-Gi-Oh! Starlight rare, something like that, SP, whatever. It's just very shiny and pretty. That is all. I'm gonna save you Ayrton's two minute, three minute search where he's trying to figure out what the hell this card is. So it's an LG, it's like a, like an SP? Yo, that's sick! <laughs> and it's for the deck I play as well, oh jeez! Oh, like it's like, it's got like the, it's like a, you know, the, <laughs> the classic Gachi game rainbow, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is great. <laughs>
Oh, that that is going right on top of there. What are the odds? Oh. What are the odds? Okay, the last pack. Like, sure, sure. How can I get better than this? Ha! It's a... This is a... Tiger? Yeah, tiger. <laughs> it's a tiger. Oh. There is cards here I don't understand. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. That is... That is a card that exists in our plane of reality. Oh. I'm sorry to anyone who really likes Shadowverse and seeing a moron like me opening all of this. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm actually going to go talk to one of, uh, to some of the boys right now and actually learn how to play this game. Um, so, if you want to see, if you actually want to see Shadowverse um, content on the channel, do let us know. Comment below. Like, hit us up on Twitter. I don't know. DM one of us. You can DM me. I was gonna be right here. It's a dear Aditanium. You can, you're you're Dumbo. <laughs> you're Dumbo. Stop opening stuff. Stop talking. <laughs> anyway, yes. Like, subscribe, comment. Let us know if you want to see this stuff, or if you want us to stick to Vanguard, or you know that that whole jazz. Uh, this has been Anson. I honestly can't believe it.